Welcome home to Texas. He swings at the first pitch. That All right, what is going on? Welcome to this breakdown. Um, we're going to look at Shea Langoliers for the Oakland A's. Three home run game. Uh, just an absolute stud. So we're going to look at this from different angles, different things going on. But overall, just kind of given the prep. Now, he was, he was only hitting 179 coming into this game, so a little bit of rough start. Still hitting sixth. Cool thing about Shea Langoliers is I actually played against him in summer ball in the Cape Cod League um, my sophomore year in college. So I got to watch him firsthand um, on the field doing his thing when he was in college um, at Baylor. And it was you could tell that he was going to be something special in the big league. So I'm going to kind of let the clip play. I'm going to watch all three home runs, and then we'll kind of break it down from there. So there's number one. Here's number two. Bomb to dead center. And number three, which is actually in the last inning of the game. They're down by a run, top of the ninth. You'd think there's no way this guy does it again. Well, just watch. 94, 94, or excuse me, 96 miles an hour, up and in. And this man just goes absolute parked. Look at this pitch. Jose Leclerc, stud of an arm, goes 96, up and in, top of the deck, actually out of the zone. This guy stays super square to this ball. Look at that deep barrel turn. Back gets on plane. Even on the high pitch, you still want to turn the barrel. Super square at contact and just obliterates this one. Look at that contact point. Boom. I like this view that they're giving us here. Let's kind of run this down real quick. So biggest things I look for when, I, when I'm coaching my own hitters in my remote training academy is what position are they at at pitch release. So you can see um, Leclerc, Leclerc down here, he's releasing the ball. Um, he's at pitch release, right? And so I'm looking at when I assess my hitters, are they literally are they in this position here? Is the weight off of their off of their front foot? Is their upper body basically loaded? And have they actually gotten on their rear leg? Have they gotten one legged in their setup? Because now you can see he is literally just sitting here waiting for the ball. He's waiting for the fastball. He's not trying to get ready as the pitch is on its way. He's already ready to swing. So now He's ready. Notice his hands aren't moving at all as the pitch is coming. He adds a little bit of stretch as he goes forward, but for the most part, he's pretty much just ready, 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 ready. And the release of the swing should be as simple as pulling the trigger um, or releasing a bow and arrow, right? You can see that barrel's getting on plane. Look at the hands pivot. Barrel gets on plane behind him. Gets on plane. And this is a high pitch, and people say you can't hit the high pitch. Getting the barrel on plane behind you, pivoting the hands. Um, this was 96 up and in, and he covered it like a boss. So let's kind of look at another view here. Now we got this aerial view. You can really see it. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. You can really see this barrel turning behind him. Oh, my goodness. This is sweet. This is such a cool view for this pitch. Up and in, barrel behind him, super square. See ya. What's he doing? Oh, yeah, he knows this one's out, too. Look, you can see the little pimp job there. He knows this is gone right off the bat. But that's the kind of thing you get when you are an elite hitter with elite moves. Um, you can make elite swings on elite pitchers. So really cool to see Langolier's three home run game. Um, if you like these type of, type of videos where I'm breaking down swings, I'm breaking down the coolest moments, like and subscribe and I will keep doing more. These are super fun for me because it keeps the current news of what the guys are doing in the game kind of helps us take a deep dive into these things. So overall, thank you so much for your support so far on the, on the channel and we'll see you in the next one.